Hello, my name is Tao and I'm from California North State University College of Pharmacy. In this video, I'll be talking about annuity, which is a corticosteroid inhaler used in asthma patients. So how do you use this medication? Annuity is only required to be used once daily, so make sure to take it consistently at the same time each day to get the most benefit out of it. The, op the medication comes in a plastic tray with a foil lid. Take the medication out of the box by peeling off the lid and throw the lid and the desiccant to regular trash. After the tray is opened, the inhaler can be stored at room temperature for six weeks. It's important to remember not to open the mouthpiece until you are ready to administer the medication as it may result in a loss of a dose. Avoid shaking and dropping the inhaler, um, which can lead to the damage of the inhaler. And avoid blocking the air vent on the inhaler while using the product. And it's very important to remember to always rinse your mouth after you administer the medication to avoid fungal infection of the mouth or throat, otherwise commonly known as thrush. When you're ready to administer the medication, open the cover of the inhaler until you hear a click and then the dose counter will count down by one. If you close the lid without administering the medication, you will lose the dose. However, the next time you open the medication again to administer the medication, you will not be able to inhale two doses at a time. The unused medication that was not previously administered will still be held in the inhaler, but it can no longer be used. Put the mouthpiece between your lips and take one long and steady deep breath through your mouth. Then remove the inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath for about 3 to 4 seconds or as long as you're comfortable. You may not taste the medication, but the dose has been administered even if you do not feel or taste it. However, if you notice that the counter is not counting down, then contact your pharmacist to have it replaced. Exhale slowly and gently, then rinse your mouth with water, but do not swallow the medicine or the water. Contact your pharmacy when you have fewer than 10 doses remaining, or the counter shows red for more refills. Arnuity Elipta is uh, a brand for fluticasol furoate inhalation powder. It is an inhaled corticosteroid, or ICS. Um, Arnuity elipta is indicated to use as a maintenance treatment of asthma as prophylactic therapy for patients five years and older. It, it is available in three strings, uh, the 50 microgram, 100 microgram, and 200 micrograms. Some advantages to taking this medication includes safety and efficacy, which has been proven in various studies. Uh, it can improve lung functions in patients with chronic lung conditions. It is easy to use and requires little coordination, and the patient cannot take a double dose by mistake. Some disadvantages when it comes to taking this medication is that patient is at an increased risk of mouth or throat infection due to prolonged steroid use um, through inhalation route. It requires deep inhalation, which may be a challenge to some patients with chronic lung conditions, and it is quite expensive as a product. So how does fluticasone work in your body? The fluticasone furoate is a synthetic trifluoronated corticosteroid that reduces inflammation by producing potent vasoconstriction and anti-inflammatory activity, local via oral inhalation. It inhibits uh, inflammatory events such as vasodilation, vascular permeability, and it increases beta-2 receptors on airway muscle and decreases mucus gland secretion. For adults and adolescents 12 years and older who have not been on an inhaled corticosteroid previously, um, these patients can be started at 100 microgram daily. And if they are not responding to that dose after two weeks, then we can increase to 200 microgram daily. For children 5 to 11 years old, um, only the 50 microgram strength is approved for the treatment of asthma. Our neurity is contraindicated to be used as primary treatment of status asthma asthmaticus 
or other acute episodes of asthma where intensive measures are required. It is also contraindicated to be used in patients with severe hypersensitivity to milk proteins and or those patients who have demonstrated hypersensitivity to fluticasone, furo 8, or any of the excipients. Here's a look at some warnings for annuity. Any inhaled corticosteroids can put patients at risk for developing oropharyngeal candidiasis infection. Therefore, it's important to advise patients to rinse their mouths after each use. Inhaled corticosteroids cannot be used to treat acute asthma episodes. Patients who use uh, inhaled corticosteroid chronically can develop immunosuppression and adrenal insufficiency, especially those who transfer from a systemic corticosteroid to an inhaled corticosteroid. There are possible drug-drug interactions with medications that are cytochrome P450 3A4 inhibitors, such as azo antifungals, especially ketoconazole according to the manufacturer, macrolide antibiotics, and protease inhibitors. If the patients experience paradoxical bronchospasm, their therapy should be switched to an alternative and RNOT should be discontinued immediately. Some patients may experience reduction in bone mineral density. It may have an effect on growth in children and adolescents, and some patients may develop glaucoma and cataracts uh, with prolonged inhaled corticosteroid use. Patients on annuity may experience common side effects like fatigue, headache, flu-like symptoms, topical symptoms, and oral infections. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you for tuning in.